Hi guys, in this lecture we will understand what are value types and reference types. So let's move to our slides first. Now C sharp divides the world of types into value types and reference types. Value types are created on the stack. All the intrinsic type such as int, long, etc. are value types and thus are created on the stack. So stack is a kind of memory which is present in C sharp or .NET framework which stores value type. So if anybody asks you what is a value type, you can say that anything which is stored in stack is called value type. Objects on the other hand are reference types. Reference types are created on an undifferentiated block of memory known as heap. So all the objects who, uh, which are reference types are created are stored on the heap. So there are two types of memories, stack and heap. Stack stores uh, value type and heap stores reference types, that is objects. Now what happens with value types is whenever you modify the value types, it is not actually the value but the copy of the value which is modified. And that I will explain you with the help of a example. So let's move to Visual Studio. And in my program class, I have uh, two variables integer first value and second value. So this is a value type because it's a intrinsic type of integer type. So these all int, long, float, etc. are value types. So this is my first variable which is assigned as value of 5. And then this is a second variable which is indeed assigned the value of first value that is second value is also equals equal to 5 so this is also a value type right all I am doing is displaying these values first value is appending it with first value variable and then second value is appending it with second actually it should be second value here okay so and then I am uh, writing console.readline to display something on console. So let's try to run this and it's a very simple program. So here it comes my output first value is 5, second value is 5 and it's obvious because my first value is 5 in here and the second value is the first value. I am assigning first value to second value. Now let's change the value of second value. And then I will give it as 10. Okay. And then I will write the same in impl implementation again. Now what can happen according to you? Now if a normal person thinks it logically. So if he or she doesn't have a understanding of value types. He will think like my first value is 5. Second value is 5. Now I have changed the value as second value as 10. So my output should be first value is 5, second value is 10 and that's indeed the answer but with a slight tweak. Let us see what happens if we run this. See first value is 5, second value is 5 but first value is 5 and second value is 10. That means it has updated second value 10 but it, it is also displaying the value of this second value that means the value is still 5 in here and the value is become 10 in here. So how does this happen? Because we have updated a copy of second value. Now this is the second value, the actual second value which is being displayed in here as 5 and whenever we try to change the value of that second value the copy of second value gets updated. So that's a very important point in regarding value types. So whenever you will try to update the value types and the value of value types, you will get the copy of that value type will be updated. That means I have not lost my value of 5 with second value. It's still there and my 10 value is also there. So they have made two copies 5 and 10. I hope it clears the point. Now let's comment it out all these things so that you don't get confused. 
I have nothing in my program now and let's check it with reference type. So for creating reference type, I need to create a class. So I have a utility class and all I'm having is a public variable say first value. Now this first value is different with the from this first value because I have commented it out. So this first value I am using just because to make you understand what happens with reference types. Also I have declared public in here just for this demonstration by default all the fields should be private. So I, I it's not really very correct to put a public access modifier in front of a field but I am doing it with for the sake of demonstration okay and now let me make a object of this utility class obj1 equals new utility okay and obj1 dot first value equals 10 now let me create a another object of this utility class so utility obj1 obj2 sorry equals obj1 so just like in my value types example i have i was assigning two value types uh, one value type into other i am just assigning a object in here so i have created this obj2 and i have assigned this obj1 into this obj2 so my value of first value should also be assigned to this obj2 and now let me write the implementation to display these values so i am writing console dot write line value of object one is the first value obj one dot first value and the value of object two is obj two dot first value and let's try to run this see value of object one is 10 and value of object two is 10 so first value was 10 then i assigned my first obj one into obj two and the same value got copied to obj2 also so the both of the values are 10 for both obj1 and obj2 and now let me change the obj2 dot first value to 25 just like we did in our value types example and then let's try to display this value and let's see what happens so to re uh, first we should revise what happened with our uh, with us and during value types value type was 5 and same was assigned to second value and then uh, we got a result called 5 and 5 and then after changing the value to 10 this value also remained in the memory so we got result as 5 and 10 here and 5 and 5 in the first console uh, first line okay so 5 and 5 and 5 and 10 and let's see what happens with this case so here it goes value of object 1 is 25 and value of object 2 is 25 what does this mean this means the moment we updated obj2 dot first name my obj1 dot first name also got updated so both of the values became 25 did i did i make anywhere i make obj1 dot first value equals 25 no I just made obj2 dot first value equals 25 and what did this become this became 25 by itself value of object 1 is 25 and value of object 2 is 25 so what's the difference in here if you observe I was copying this first value into second value but in this case since it's a reference type my obj1 is not getting copied into obj2 it's actually the same object obj1 has become obj2 so whatever the change i will do with obj2 will be reflected into obj1 so i can uh, make a point this obj2 is actually referring to same object of of obj1 both of these obj1 and obj2 are references which refer to the same object okay 
so i hope you understood my point let me revise it for you this obj1 is the reference which refers to a object of utility class okay now the moment i do a obj1 equals obj2 my obj1 is not copied into obj2 it has become obj2 so now this reference also refers to this object of utility class fine i hope it clears the difference between reference type and value types so in value types the value types are stored on stack and reference types are stored on heap so if you go deeper uh, this is just a sentence actually the reference type the reference the object reference is in the stack and the actual object is on the heap but i have listed those points in the slide so you can refer to these slides and remember those points because they are very important in uh, regarding your concept and regarding your interviews let's move back to our slides so here are the four important points that you need to remember always so please note it down and remember it value types are stored on stack references are actually stored on stack but the object they refer is stored on heap when we update a value type it creates a new copy of the variable and when we update the references reference types both the references will refer to the same object so any change to one of the reference will be reflected into the other reference as well which is not the case with value types and let's move back to our first slide i guess we missed last three points structs types such as int float long etc are value types strings are reference types now this is also a very small but very important interview question uh, what are re uh, strings are they value types or reference type so the answer is strings are reference types now memory of reference types is claimed by garbage collector which is a uh, background thread which runs automatically in a non deterministic amount of time to claim the memory of reference types but we don't need to uh, claim the memory of value types so i guess this clears your confusion regarding value types and reference types and here are the slides here are the points to note it down that's it for this video thank you guys thank you for learning if you have any doubt please leave a comment and keep learning keep rock rocking please share this video please like my channel thank you so much Before you go, please subscribe to my channel for interview preparation in C Sharp, WPF, WCF, SQL, Entity Framework, MBBM, Design Pattern, etc. For personal online training on C Sharp and WPF, and for other queries, please contact .NET School at gmail.com.